Over the weekend, Bernie Sanders had the big launch of his campaign, the formal launch with a big speech in Brooklyn. The following day, a more specifically issue focused on on race and politics speech in Chicago. The next day, very exciting speeches. Most of what Bernie Sanders said, you you've heard before if you are if you followed his his speeches. He did talk more about his own personal biography, which is not a thing that he normally does. So yeah. I want to read a couple excerpts of that. He said, "I am not going to tell you that I grew up in a home of desperate poverty. That would not be true." But what I will tell you is that coming from a lower middle class family, I will never forget how money, or really lack of money, was always a point of stress in our family. I did not have a father who gave me millions of dollars to build luxury skyscrapers, casinos, and country clubs. I did not come from a family of privilege that prepared me to entertain people on television by telling workers, you're fired. Again, how do you get elected in this time amongst a population that feels so left behind economically by a guy who became famous by firing people? It's amazing that that worked. And Bernie Sanders is going to point that out throughout the election. Yeah, um, I thought that was fascinating. A lot of because a lot of what we, you know, he doesn't talk about himself, and that's not a bad thing. He doesn't talk about himself. Mm-hmm. Doesn't like to. There was a an excerpt from a friend, I, and I'm losing the name, but um, saying we're best friends, and I don't know if he has grandkids or even wife. <laughs> you know, there. Yeah. So I think it's nice. It's it's he got some advice mm-hmm. from someone. You got to do things, I guess, a little different this some time around. Some people might see that it's as cold. Or like, like you're less human, you know? Maybe. Maybe. I don't think his his fans like. I never felt like. Why doesn't he talk about his hobbies? Right. I never felt that or anything. But some people do like to know. They want to feel like they can go get a beer. It I guess you go be, with a beer if yeah. you know them a little bit better. Nice for people to hear him talk a little bit more about himself. Yeah. 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 Um, He also says, my activities here in Chicago taught me a very important lesson that I have never forgotten. And that is that whether it is the struggle against corporate greed or against racism, sexism, homophobia, environmental devastation, or war and militarism, real change never takes place from top on down. It always takes place from the bottom on up. So that, of course, is the core sort of message of his campaign and of his campaign back in 2016. I also want to say, if you haven't caught some of the speeches, not not of Bernie Sanders, but of three people who introduced him. So Ro Khanna, Sean King, and Nina Turner had great speeches. I, I wasn't watching live when it was happening, but I knew when Nina Turner started talking because Twitter blew up over Nina yeah. Turner. She's a great, one of my favorite people to have on the show. She's awesome. She and awesome. honestly, like as she was like doing that speech, I was thinking, I mean, I love Bernie, but. Why isn't Nina running as well? (laughs) She was getting everybody fired up. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.